You may be familiar with the grid array functionality built into Lightburn. It allows you to select any shape or shapes and uniformly distribute them in a grid along the X and Y axis like the grid you see here. The other shapes created with this grid, however, are distinct copies of the original and are in no way linked to the original shape. You can scale, rotate, or move the original shape and the copies will not change in any way. But what if you wanted the array to always be synced with the originally selected shapes? That's where the new virtual grid array option comes in. We can select this shape, go to arrange, grid array, and then create the same three by three grid that we saw before. But as you'll see now, the other shapes on the grid render differently with a dashed pattern. This is to denote that they are virtual objects synced to the originally selected shapes. If I uncheck the new create virtual grid option, you will see that it goes back to looking like what you're used to. But for now, we'll keep that option checked, then click OK. Unlike before, I can now scale, rotate, and move the original shape and all the others in the grid remain synced to it. And of course, even though these shapes are virtual, they will still output to the laser as normal, as you can see in the preview. Even better, I can change this array after the fact. For example, we'll create an ellipse object, select it, select the square on the array, right click and choose add to array. Now the shape is included in the array as if it had always been there. As you would expect, I can move the shape around independently of all the other shapes in the array and the entire grid remains in sync. Conversely, you can select and right click any shape already on an array and choose the remove from array option in order to exclude it from the grid. You can also select and right click any shape that is in an array and choose the edit array option. This will bring up the original grid array dialog and let you change all the parameters you had access to when creating it in the first place. For example, I can change the spacing here and even change the number of columns. There's also a duplicate array option right here that will copy the array and all of its associated shapes. This is provided because virtual arrays cannot be selected directly, only the shapes can be. Otherwise, there'd be no way to make a copy of the virtual array. Last but not least is the flatten array option, which will convert all of the virtual shapes to regular shapes, making the array just like the old style non-virtual array. Alternatively to using flatten array, you can also go to edit array and uncheck create virtual array, which will also convert it back into a normal non-virtual array. Now, virtual arrays work with all design shapes and objects built into Lightburn, not just those shown in this quick demo, and will always output to your laser as if they were standard non-virtual objects. We hope this will become a great new tool in your workflow. Thanks for watching.